guys, it's Crystal back at it again with another video. If you don't know me, I make videos about my experience at Columbia University, college, tips and tricks, academic info, anything that you might need as a high school student. And today I am going to tell you guys every single class that I ever took in high school that helped me get into my dream school, Columbia University, which I just graduated from in three years. Cum laude. Okay, now that my little bragging moment is up, let's get into it. It is college application season pretty much already. Back to school basically means that college apps are right around the corner. So if you need any help with applying, I've got your back. You can reach out to me at any time. I do essay editing and anything that you might need in terms of college counseling. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be bringing you so much good, good content about applying to college and what it takes to get into the Ivy League. So in this video, I'm going to go through all my four years of high school from freshman to senior year, and we'll just break down every single course that I took. Now, I do want to say as a quick little disclaimer, you definitely do not have to take all the APs or courses in general that I took at all. Everyone has their own interests, and that's really important. And also, what colleges are looking for really changes from year to year. So please don't feel pressured to exactly copy my high school schedule in any way or anything like that. It's really important that you go your own way and do your own thing and make sure that it's authentic to you and your passions because they might not be exactly the same as mine, and that's okay. I was also very fortunate because I went to the Stanford University Online High School where they don't have restrictions in terms of how old you have to be to take a certain class or what grade you have to be in or how many APs you can take each year. So I was really able to take a lot of APs at a young age and in the earlier years of high school. Not every school allows that so not everyone has access to that. So once again, it's totally okay. Colleges are holistic and they will evaluate you on the context of what your high school allows, not comparing you to someone whose high school allows them to take you know AP courses starting in middle school or something like that if you can't take APs until junior or senior year so don't stress at all please I really loved my school I had such a good experience there I was so lucky and so now I actually tutor a ton of students there I help them with their college apps and I've actually helped some of my students at this point for long enough that I've worked with them all the way through high school and helped them get into Columbia actually and some of them that were there with me in my final year of college so was, you know we would get lunch and that sort of thing and it was really nice to have them there it was super cool so yeah if you ever need any help with tutoring or anything I academic hit me up I got you and if you want to know anything more about the Stanford Online High School you can check out the two videos I've already made on it for more information the only restriction they had was that you weren't really supposed to take more than six classes a semester which I found out the hard way because I didn't know that and I somehow slipped through the cracks so to speak and signed up for seven classes and no one said anything and it went well thankfully I actually got the best grades of my life that semester so go figure and then they told me afterwards Eh, yeah, you weren't really supposed to do that, but we saw you were doing okay, so we let you just keep at it. One thing I want to highlight, though, is that even though I took a lot of classes every year, I definitely didn't take every single AP, not even close. I only took one AP Science, for instance, since I had no interest in AP Chem or AP Physics. I majored in Creative Writing and Business Management, so my classes, I think, really reflect my interests at the time which are still my interests today, and they were really designed to help prepare me for my goals. And your classes should be designed to help prepare you for your goals. And that's a big thing that I'm always going over with my students, helping them with picking classes each year and making sure that it's gonna be the exact right fit in terms of challenge, the types of classes you're taking, what your interests are, and what colleges are looking for. So I've got my computer with me because otherwise I would not know every single high school class I've taken off the top of my head. But let's dive into freshman year. So first and foremost, I had already taken AP English Language and Composition in seventh grade and I had gotten a five on the exam, which is kind of uncomfortable to say. I definitely don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to brag about this. I know it's kind of unusual and I promise that is not the case here whatsoever. You do not have to do that. Like, I repeat, you do not have to do that. But because I took that at a different, like, okay, well, I was homeschooled and I took it at a different educational facility online, so to speak, the Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth, which I also have a video on, go check it out. 
Um, and then my school, the Stanford Online High School, they really felt that they taught a lot more than just to the test. So even though I'd already taken it, they wanted me to take at least one semester of their version of the class. So I did that for one semester. And then the other semester, I took this course called Advanced Topics in Literature, which was a university level English class that my school offers. The topic of that class changes every single semester. So that semester we were doing a lot of Chaucer and these Middle English works, which was um really hard for me because I found reading Middle English really, really, really difficult. And I really enjoyed it. And my teacher was one of my favorite people ever. Shout out to you, Dr. Lamont an OG, but I just found it really difficult, so I was not having the best time. But then AP ELC was fabulous, and I was with the same teacher, so I was happy. I also took Spanish 2 since I had started Spanish 1 in 8th grade, and all my Spanish classes were with the exact same teacher, so that was great. She was wonderful. And then after she left OHS, she actually did some work with my company, my IV education that I started. I also took AP Bio, and because all of the classes were online, we had to order away for this lab kit that like, got mailed to my home, and then thankfully my twin was also in that class, and so we were able to be lab buddies, which which was great and then at the end of that class the professor quit to go work on Obama's campaign which is interesting but yeah it was a good time I also took honors pre-calculus and trigonometry which was not my favorite but loved the teacher I've known her for years um so whatever and AP world history now my school was on pacific time since it's affiliated with Stanford University so obviously that's on the west coast and I'm from New Jersey so the East Coast, so all my classes were three hours later than the people on the West Coast. So my AP World History class started at 6 a.m. for them, started at 9 a.m. for me. And I tell you, I could not wake up for this class. It was so embarrassing because there were literally people for whom it was 6 a.m. where they were. And I could not wake up to my alarm. I would just sleep through it for like the first 10 minutes or so all the time it was so problematic but thankfully the teacher and i had a really good relationship and so he didn't mind at all so now we get into sophomore year aka my favorite year of high school sophomore year was so good to me oh my goodness i was in all my favorite classes it was such a vibe so let's start with ap english literature and composition i feel like that's the class where i became a good writer, like an acceptable writer in any way. If you guys don't know, like I am a published author and that is kind of like side thing that I do as well. And I mentor all the kids out there in the big creative writing competitions for high school and middle school. Like look up any high school competition and creative writing or publication or anything. It's all my kids and the winners and finalists. So I feel like AP English Lit is really where that all started to come together for me. It all clicked. Also, the teacher was amazing, so there was that. I also took the 10th grade core class that my high school made all the 10th graders take, and it was called History and Philosophy of Science. It was actually originally a Stanford course, and then they just kind of appropriated it for us high schoolers, and that was great because I loved that class so much. It took you through the history of all these different theories that humans have had about science, like corpuscles and humors, and some of them are really nuts and some of them actually make a lot of sense and it is totally clear why we would think that before we had more evidence and I love that class so much that I ended up becoming a TA for it later on and peer tutor and everything plus the teacher was British and she had this fabulous accent and was just an absolute hilarious like hoot so I was having a good time then I was in Spanish 3 with the same teacher that I mentioned before so fabulous we were having a grand old time and then I took this course called Advanced Topics in Biological Research. So it was like a post AP bio university level course that was one of the most useful classes I have ever taken in my life because it taught us how to actually read scientific papers, like what's published in Nature and those really well-renowned scientific journals. And even though I may be more interested in the humanities, I do also like some aspects of STEM very much. And I also really appreciate the ability to read through the journals and see results and experiments for myself. It makes me feel like I'm not just relying on whatever media outlets report and can avoid things like fake news and everything like that. So I recommend everyone that they pick up this skill. Now I took the standard option of this class. You could also take the writing option where you met an additional day each week and you had to write like a 20 page research paper at the end of the course. And my sister took that option, but I did not. And I was very happy about that. I also took creative writing during my second semester of that year. 
it was the very first time the school was offering this course and it, so it was the pilot there were just a few of us in the class and then after the pilot they were planning on charging an additional fee for students to take creative writing which i thought was absurd and i thought that might exclude people from being able to take it so i was the editor of the literature journal all four years of high school and so i was working with the sponsor of that club like the literature club and journal who was a professor and the head of the english department there and he and i really campaigned using the literature journal to show that there was so much interest amongst the student body and to get that fee removed and it actually worked i also took ap calc ab which was like not my favorite but we got through it we survived and then i also just rounded off everything with this class called leadership course seminar which was really cool because they brought in all these guest speakers like steve wozniak from apple to talk to us and teach us different elements of how to be a leader and it turned out to be a great class also really chill like zero homework it was a good time. Then I started junior year and it was fine, we're fine. This was the year of the seven classes, if you remember, so it got a little crazy, but it turned out okay. So I had finished all the AP English classes, so it was back to advanced topics in literature for me, and I took one class on comedy and we watched a bunch of Marx Brothers films and wrote about them, so that was great. And then I took an advanced topics in literature class on post-colonialism, and it was in that class that I feel like I really solidified the writing structure that I use now and that I teach my students to help them out with their essays, so I'm really grateful to that class. I also got to take creative writing again, slay, and this time I took one semester specifically on poetry and one semester on short stories. The poetry class literally had three people in it, me, my sister, and an another classmate, and so I got to get really close to my professor and she wrote me a ton of letters of recommendation. She was actually a Stanford professor first and then she came to the school to also teach there and she was really well decorated. So I felt so, so lucky to get to know her and have her be my mentor. And then I also took the 11th grade core class, which was called Democracy, Freedom, and the Rule of Law. And it was basically a poli-sci, a little bit of legal studies. And it was this whole survey of all of these political philosophers across the ages, especially in terms of America, but not solely. And we really got into how the history of our legal system was created and the constitution and different systems of political beliefs that define American law. And then I took AP Spanish, very chill, same teacher, A push with the same teacher from AP World History, very chill, and then AP Calc BC, which was not chill at all. My of education, this is Crystal. Hello? Hello? So AP Calc BC had a ton of online problem sets that we were supposed to complete throughout the course of the year and they really had no deadline, it was just finish them by the end of the course. So of course I saved all of them for the last two days of the course, which was amazing. Like I would say I have actually overcome my procrastination from that time, but yeah, that was a vice for me, for sure. Moment of silence for my procrastinating ways but basically i had to sit down grind those out over like a 24 hour period it was not great but my sister was there with me so commiseration for the win finally i took leadership again one semester and then this new course called designing your life the other semester it was very chill it was all about deciding how you wanted your life to look and what your passions were what paths you wanted to go down and you had to pick a mentor who was a teacher to work with you throughout the course so i picked my spanish teacher and it was really nice to get even closer with her like that okay senior year baby we're in the home stretch this year, I decided to dial things down a little bit and go a little less hard, and so instead of seven classes, I took six. Also, I literally wasn't allowed to take seven again, but there you have it. So that year, I applied and was accepted to take these upper-level, college-level English courses. One was all about Moby Dick, the novel, and the other was about detective fiction. They were both really interesting, really useful, loved them. I actually ended up getting the school's English department award that year, so I was really excited and grateful for that. No complaints. Then I also took the 12th grade core class, which is called Critical Reading and Argumentation, and it was all about the philosophy of memory and identity and all that good stuff. 
So I absolutely love that class, 10 out of 10. And then I had the option to take multivariable calculus in senior year, but I was not about that life. I was taking a lot of other college level classes, as you will see. So I took AP Statistics instead and also Honors Physics, which was hilarious because most people in there were freshmen or sophomores and I was like this ancient senior, but it was the best decision I've ever made. I also took Spanish 5, which was this post AP university level Spanish sociolinguistics course. Same professor again, love. And then Advanced History Research Seminar, which was university level post AP history. And basically the big thing in that course was that we wrote a 20 page research paper each semester. I also really wanted to take creative writing again that year, but it didn't fit in my schedule, which oh so that's everything it may sound like kind of a lot and i'm not gonna lie it was super overwhelming at times but i did generally enjoy most of my classes and i'm so grateful to my school for the opportunities that they gave me and how well they prepared me to succeed at columbia and now i'm able to work with so many students there and help them out which is so exciting so thank you high school experience i loved you so much you were good to me and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends because friends help friends. And hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I post. Now that I've graduated, I have a lot more time to make videos, so trust me, especially during this college up season, yeah, you won't be able to get rid of me. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.